Hello and welcome to Madrid Direct. Today we have a conversation with Manuel Fajardo from Ocean Quant Management about the new hedge fund he manages called Proteus. He'll explain for us the objectives of the fund and the principles of quantitative analysis and other tools in which he bases his investment strategies. Manuel Fajardo, thanks for being with us today. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. Um, and let's see what you have for me. <laughs> You are 26, and 26 years old and you started your own hedge fund very recently. How did this, the project start and develop? Well, I think that the word that can describe perfectly this project is um, human and humanitarian maybe. No? Because uh, this project started, um, uh, let's say, um, as a project to try to diversify the economy in the Canary Islands. Um, you know that with the crisis of 2008 um, there was like uh, a big um, affluence of people uh, going out of the Canary Islands because there were no no jobs. The Canary Islands economy depends uh, mainly in tourism um, and I wanted to try to build an offshore center in the Canary Islands that actually is a project that um, is being held right now in what we call the SEC. Okay? Um, so the project started to develop and suddenly um, I got proposed uh, to try to give an impulse to the project uh, making a hedge fund project for CUNEF um, from one of the contests that CUNEF had for entrepreneurs. Um, we did really well in the contest and we actually started to manage a, a third people account uh, we did very well with the accounts also, so we uh, started to think about this main project what the, that was the uh, Proteus Multi-Strategy Fund. Mm -hmm. And that's how everything uh, started as an idea to help people, because what we want to do with, the, uh, with a main part of the benefits uh, um, that will uh, come to the fund is actually um, try to impulse other kind of projects that can help um, um, the standards of living in, in, in the society. Mm -hmm. uh, you base your investment strategies in quantitative analysis and alternative tools. How do they work? Well, actually, um, this, is, this is kind of funny, right? Because uh, I'm a specialist in uh, forex and in commodities. Actually, the hedge fund was going to be uh, only based in uh, our main forex strategy, that is a, a multi coin integration and Arima modeling strategy. But due to the events of the 15th of January of this year, um, volatility in our main account was pretty high. Pretty high. In the good side, because we gain in a couple of seconds actually uh, a 17% of, of, of return, but uh, it was not good enough because actually the investors would see it uh, um, um, as a bad um, number because uh, volatility is not uh, something that is attractive to them, you know. So uh, we actually try to think about uh, ways to diversify. Uh, these risks and to try to make returns constant and what we did was to incorporate other uh, managers that um, are pretty prestigious actually have been uh, managing other funds and stuff and um, try to make the strategy a little bit more um, smooth let's le say you know so uh, now instead of forex only we do also commodities uh, we do equity and we do uh, option over indexes apart from other um, special investments in forex we keep on um, uh, doing the multi-strategy uh, and the macro um, strategy all based in quantitative uh, methods uh, for commodities, we rely on autocorrelation uh, in assets and between assets. Um, and we actually rely also on seasonal patterns that we can see in uh, every kind of, of, of commodity. Um, in equity, we have a long short strategy. Um, uh, this strategy is composed by uh, two portfolios, one American portfolio, um, one um, European portfolio and which hedge each other with uh, options, futures and uh, with short positions. And in the derivative side, 
uh, we have um, well, we are specialists in uh, selling options we actually um, try to compare uh, distributions of uh, risk of uh, uh, historical volatility and implied volatility and uh, with that kind of uh, measures we try to um, find some kind of um, similarity between this uh, distribution of uh, risk and uh, uh, the distribution well and a normal distribution to see if um, uh, the premium of, 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 of this kind of assets is actually undervalued or overvalued and then uh, position uh, um, ourselves depending on if we think or if we have calculated that uh, these as uh, assets are going to uh, uh, expire and we're going to ha have to pay the other counterpart. No? Mm -hmm. And that's what we do actually. Mm -hmm. We have like um, a, a compendium of um, different assets, different strategies to try to minimize volatility and try to achieve constant returns um, over time um, and over the long run. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you're a specialist in forex and commodities. What do you see greater opportunity at the moment? Well, <laughs> this is kind of a... To that. Yeah, um, I normally don't answer to these kind of questions because um, I'm not um, any kind of wizard or any kind of um, guy that can see the future, you know? Um, what I can talk about is about the positions that we have right now in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I can say uh, to the spectators is that there's a very good opportunity uh, on carry trades between uh, lower yield uh, currencies such as, for example, Euro and um, currencies that are more constant uh, over time, like the Canadian dollar, you know? Mm -hmm. And that kind of opportunities right now um, are really interesting. Mm -hmm. You recently also founded your own company here in Spain, Ocean Quant Management. Uh, what services do, do you offer? Well, um, we offer services of asset valuation and we uh, also used to uh, have a, a service of uh, trying to um, give kind of an advice okay, in quantitative strategies. Right now, uh, because we have um, constituted um, Ocean Capital uh, Management and Proteus uh, Multi-Strategy Fund, uh, we are getting a little bit separated of Ocean Quant Management in the sense that we have um, avoided to uh, develop this kind of um, uh, businesses here, here, in, here in Spain. While we are centering the company right now, is to give um, um, opportunity to people to try to understand and to try to know uh, quantitative analysis, uh, uh, giving a two-year course and actually, well, you know, uh, this business is a little bit stressful um, and I would like in 30 or 40 years um, uh, to retire and I want my um, the people that are learning from me, you know, to uh, take the chance to manage assets, you know. So I'm trying to give them the best education there. Uh, actually, I don't have much time because I'm all during all the week I'm uh, managing assets, and in the weekends I'm um, uh, trying to see other kind of projects to diversify uh, the funds uh, uh, assets. But we are uh, we are centered in that in education and in asset valuation right now. Manuel Fajardo, thanks very much. Thank you. That was it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next edition of Madrid Direct on Dogascope TV.